Hello and welcome to another modeling video. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through flocking and other organic effects that you can achieve with your modeling to bring dioramas or mini bases to life. We're going to be looking at a various style of products and techniques. What you will need besides the basing products is PVA glue, a swab, a toothpick and tweezers. It also helps to have a few mini dishes and water on the side. With these on hand you're able to be creative across any scale or style of modelling you desire. Quick trip to your local hobby store, one that particularly specialises in wargaming and or model railway, check out both, you'll find a lot of interesting products you may not have heard before. One that's unusual is long grass. This is as simple as pinch, trim, dipping glue and shove on the base, but I'm going to be a bit more secure about it, not too sure if PVA glue will hold it down. I bound the bunches in masking tape and then reinforced the base of it with super glue, which proved to be quite successful. I made a special mix which I'll explain later of PVA glue and water and doused the base with it. I had a lot of spare trimmings or offcuts of the grass so I sprinkled this all over the base representing fallen grass and wiped up the remaining watered down super uh, PVA glue with a tissue. If you buy a quality PVA glue they will dry clear and especially when you water them down after several hours there will be no evidence of it being there beforehand. Fallen grass is a really effective technique behind vehicles or where figures are walking, so definitely have a plan. With your bunches of grass, you'll either make a hole in your diorama, or your diorama will be quite cluttered and you'll be able to hide them in nooks and crannies. You're also able to hide the base of the grass behind flock or paint. It's easy as dabbing a surface area with PVA glue from your cotton swab, placing your bunch and allowing it to dry for at least a day before handling. After drying you're able to spread out the grass and stiffing them at the base with watered down PVA glue and style it however you like to give it as most realistic field effect possible. Sometimes slightly stylized scarred battlefield areas also look pretty good. Have a lot of fun with it. Flock is a coloured spongy material that comes in all shapes, sizes, colours and consistency. You can get them quite chunky or very very fine. You're able to use them in appropriate situations according to scale, atmosphere or environment. It's best to try to, if you're doing something of a higher scale, use a lot of a finer uh, turf, where if you're doing something quite big, like a 35th or 12th scale figure, you're able to afford to use stuff that's quite chunky and even construct bushes or trees. Again, just take it as far as you can and be creative in what aspect you do use them in, besides what I'm demonstrating, what others may demonstrate. It's a very flexible and versatile material. Again, cover the surface area of your terrain that you would like to flock on with PVA glue. Use straight PVA glue with a cotton swab. Basing is quite effective either if you have the entire surface area covered in flock or a mixture of barren areas where you paint a soil or sandy texture on. Using the chunkiest consistency first if you're using multiple colours or your own mix. Place that down with your tweezers in a scattered location where it's partly flock and partly PVA glue. Mmm, underwear model. Because flock is quite expensive, you'll want to use an underlay and once you finish shaking the excess off, fold it in half and put it back in your tray not to cross contaminate your flock unless you're doing it intentionally. Straight off the bat you can go to your second colour which should always be a finer consistency and repeat the same process until you cover all the PVA glue area unless you're moving on to a third colour. Use your finger to pat it down or remove any flock from certain detail or rearrange and then empty your underlay again. Now I'm making a one part PVA glue to three part water or half half we're going to 
mix this thoroughly, best thing about PVA glue, it's water soluble, and soak up the flocking area with this mixture. The advantage to this little extra is you're going to stiffen your flock and it's not going to be falling off your base later on since it's only being stuck from below but it's not going to be as fluffy as you've seen presented in front of you. Plus don't fear the milky color will dry to clear if you're using a quality PVA glue. Static grass is a popular technique among the, among the wargaming community which is fine grass follicles that make little dome mounts that you do see in the wild. It's quite easy as making a little mound of PVA glue using a cotton bud, picking up a ball of the static grass with the tweezers and placing it on top. Unfortunately, they do shag or shake off over time, leaving follicles of static grass everywhere on your cloves in the base itself. So it's quite handy to use the watered-down PVA glue effect on this as well. You're also able to make fallen grass on across your diorama or on things like tank tracks or boots of muddy boots of soldiers. Another fun product to play with. Snow is another wonderful effect that one can achieve with flock. It's of a very fine consistency to the point of a light powder and it's absolutely white. You can mix some black powder or pigment to it to create interesting effects. It looks great on all scales depending on how you place them where a little research does come in handy. I had a go with this uh, Warhammer Citadel branded stuff and feel this one even though it's had pricey is the best looking effect. Again it's generally the same principles to applying except I didn't use an overlay of watered down PVA glue. In conclusion working with flocks basing and building terrains and dioramas is a heap of fun and is one of the easiest and most fun parts of the hobby. You can almost do no wrong. As long as you do your research in the scale you're working with and trying to make a effect that's as realistic or as something to scale walking around in that environment. Thank you for watching and until next time.